Alright, g'day guys. So tonight I've got a video on Realmworks for you, um, and this is showing new functionality that uh, some of the Realmwork users have uh, been asking for for quite a while, and that's how to uh, copy, extract, and uh, import a Realm. So for any long-term users, you'd be aware that uh, once we created a Realm, we started putting information into it. Generally, that Realm was uh, contained within itself. You couldn't couldn't export it. You couldn't make a copy of it. Um, which meant if you started a new game, you're basically starting from scratch again. Um, it's been probably one of the biggest weaknesses of the tool so far, uh, in the opinion of some. Um, and adding in this uh, functionality is is really going to take the tool a lot further, in my opinion. Um, because you know now I can uh, I can work on my my realm. I can uh, prepare my monsters. I can prepare my spells. I can prepare my locations either uh, even uh, and make a copy and. And use all of that content in a different module. Just got to copy the module work in, and it, it benefits from all the work that I've done previously. So, this is quite a significant uh, group of features. So, let's jump over Realmworks and have a look. All right, in front of me you can see Realmworks. This is the uh, the launcher screen. All right, generally most people will start on the home screen, but if you click through to the Realms tab, you should have a list of all the realms that you're playing around with. All right, and this is where one of the first functionality is actually available from. So uh, if we pick a, a realm, I'm going to use Death by Dungeon. Uh, we click on this little icon over here. All right, we drop that down and we go Copy Realm. All right, lets you pick a name, uh, lets you set a game system. In this case, uh, I'm restricted to the legacy game system. They are adding an ability to change uh, existing realms into different game systems, which will impact, you know, what sort of category structures you have within the tool. Uh, but for now, I'm just using Legacy. Uh, click create, cop cl uh, create Realm Copy. All right, we wait for that to finish. Um, this process is going to take longer depending on how much content you're working with. So a small realm is going to be relatively quick. Uh, a large realm, it might be worth having a coffee. A realm the size that I'm working with, it might be worth going and watching a TV show. I don't know. Um, but you can see it's going through the process. Um, it's copied the realm. It's now finishing the sync. It's, it's aligning everything. Um, with the cloud, it's it's not actually loading it to the cloud from what I've seen. You actually do need to complete that afterwards. Uh, but I imagine it's telling the cloud that you've done this at least. Uh, so we'll just wait for this to come through. Um, and obviously, once we've done this, we've got a, a completely separate realm that we can play around with. Now, probably important to note that uh, this is a copy. Uh, there's no connection between this realm and the other realm. This is just a distinct copy. This allows you to take something uh, and move it into another name and reuse it. So we've now got that. We can open that up. My load screen is working on my other screen tonight, by the way. It's, it's decided to work on the other screen, not on this one. You're not missing much. All right, you can see here I've got a copy of the realm. All right, it's created a, uh, a copy of everything that I've put in. Which isn't a lot, this is uh, an empty sort of module that I'm using just for uh, the purposes of showing you guys. But, you know, the point is clear, I've now got a copy. If I go back to Switch Realms, uh, you can see Death by Dungeon. Alright, you can see it's an exact copy, which is fantastic. But, alright, so we've got a, uh, a copy, that's pretty easy, but uh, if you look up on the uh, the toolbar menu here, you'll see there's actually some other options. We've now got a share tab. Now the share tab is where we're managing our imports and our exports. Now exports are a bit more interesting, because they can actually update content. So let's go through and let's, let's do an export. We'll change that picture, we'll put a river guard keep in there. Um, we've got Death by Dungeon. I've put test in here, so that's all good. I'm going to do a full export. Uh, we'll password protect this one. So I'll put a super hard password of password. All right, it's just quickly gone onto my other screen again uh, with the load screen. So just the Realm, Realmworks load window that you see when it loads the tool up. And it just quickly runs through a, uh, a 0 to 100% process, um, just finishing the export. All right, so that's done. I've, I've exported from this Realm. If we get out of this Realm now, uh, we'll load up the Princes of the Apocalypse, which is uh, completely empty. 
Again, all my load screens are occurring on the other screen, guys, so just be aware of that. Um, I'm going to delete all of the content in here just to make it fresh. All right, we'll go to the Share tab and we'll go Import. And we'll select it. We'll go Death by Dungeon 2. I'm going to preserve my changes and ignore the new material or overwrite my changes with the new material. Mine's empty, so I'm going to overwrite. Got to enter a password. So it's just gone to the load screen again. 82, 83. So it's pretty quick if you're using a small realm. Um, I have uh, I've played around with exporting my large realm. Not something I'll do on video. Uh, it does take a long time. Um, but for anyone who's seen my main realm, you'd understand that it's a uh, rather large beast. So I guess that's expected when you're working with more data. All right. And as you can see, export and import is now done. All right. It's imported all of the content. Let's put it where it was. Uh, it's brought over everything that it had in there. All right. And if we go to share, go view imports, we can now see that, that that's occurred. So you can actually see that I've actually imported uh, recover the resources into this previously. So it does keep track of all the content that you, you put in here. All right. So let's go back over and uh, go back to our copy. And I just wanted to try something. I've not actually done this before, but let's try open up um, my copy of Death by Dungeon, which is what I initially uh, extracted. All right, let's come in here and let's make a change. So we'll put a picture in here. Uh, we'll choose him. And we'll save that. And let's go share and manage exports. Is this the one that I did it on? Just going to quickly test the other ones. Did I do it there or did I do it there? That is the question. I suspect that what I'm, I'm attempting to show you is actually important that I get this right. Yeah, this is the one. So I want to make a change in this one. I'm going to come in here and add a photo. Just confusing myself, playing around with the same, same things. All right, we're going to manage export. And we're just going to do it again. We'll do a full export. Uh, our password protect the file again. Do the number two. Let's just go into the load screen on the other side. 89, 90, really quick. Alright, and now let's swap out and let's go back to my Princes of the Apocalypse test realm. Alright, you can see here if we come in here, that picture doesn't exist. So let's go in here and let's manage imports. And let's have a look at it. So preserve my changes and ignore the new material. That's not what I want to do. I want to overwrite my changes with the new material. Actually, I want to do another test while we're here. Let's, let's go into entry hall. And let's just write test. And let's see what it does. So we'll import. We'll go death by dungeon. So preserve my changes. I want to preserve my changes and ignore the new material. Let's see what that does. Just go to the other screen again. All right, so you can see test is there. And you can see the picture is there. All right, that's exactly what I want because that means I can go over into my primary realm and keep working on my monster database and my monsters in my mechanics section. I can export that and then I can bring it over here and I can import it, and, but any changes that I've made would still be here, yeah? So let's try this again. Let's go, let's add an extra snippet below. And we'll save that. And let's go share, 
import. I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but this time I'm going to overwrite my changes with a new material. Let's just go onto the other screen. All right, pitch is there, test is still there. So that actually came through. Just making sure I've got this right. Does the test 2 come through? That is the question. And yes, it does. So the test 2 comes through. It brings in all the uh, the changes. And look, that, that's exactly what I want, to be honest. That's exactly what I want. Because um, as I said before, I, I can just basically now work on my master monster manual. Um, I can make an export of it, and then whenever I want to basically come over and do this again, I can do it again. Um, but there is more to this functionality, guys, so let's let's have a look at Manage Exports and have a look at some of the other options. So there's a structure only, um, and for anyone who understands the structures yet, um, that's a pretty much new functionality that's coming where you can save and export the structure. I won't play around with that tonight, but I will show you the custom section because I think this is really cool. So custom, this is how I'm going to get my monster manual out of my main database when I do it. Um, I'm going to enter purge the hills. And what I'm, to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and export just this purge the hills section. Um, we'll load an image. Let's put a little picture. Let's put some stuff in here. And we'll save it. And if you read the top bit, it says to export a subset of your realm to a file, first create and save a new export definition below, which is exactly what I just did. Then close this window and assign the corresponding export tag to the content you want to export. So we'll do that now. And what I need to do is I need to get Purge the Hills. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. Um, you've got the story almanac, you could certainly do that. But to show you the more manual way that you could do it, we're going to create article of view. So I'm going to create an export view. I'm going to show that in the ribbon bar. All right, which makes that. If I click on that, there's nothing in there. But if I go to World Almanac, I can now right click and go Assigned a View, Story Almanac. And yes, I want all contained topics. And when I come over here, at least I thought that's what I did. Oh, I signed it to, I made the wrong view type, I think. Hang on a sec, sorry. I made a mechanics view. I need to make a uh, story view. So we'll go create. Uh, there we go, the export view. So if I come in here, get assigned to views, I can assign it to the export view. There we go. And now I've got that there. And what I want to do, when I go into my share and manage exports, you can see I've got to purge the hills. So what I want to do is I want to come up here. Um, sorry, not there. I want to come to this little toolbar here. And I want to do bulk tagging. I want to sign tag to all topics in the navigation view. And I want to go down to where it says export. Like there. And you can see it's created a purge the hills tag. So we're going to add that. And if you look over here, we'll now see Purge the Hills. Purge the Hills. I've seen some questions this week on uh, why tags are important. Guys, this is the answer. This is why tags are important. <laughs> this lets you come in here and add this tag. And then when you come into the Share option and go Manage Exports, you come over to your Custom option and click Full Export. All right, got everything set. It's basically going to put in just the options that have this tag. So it's just gone to the other screen while it quickly smashes this through the load screen. Here we go. 
So that export's done, and now if I get out of here, uh, we'll go over to probably my Frostgrave section just for showing purposes. I'll delete it in a minute. And in here I go share and import. I'm going to grab this content, we'll go purge the hills, preserve my changes, ignore new material, import. Actually, I'm going to import this content as isolated preview to show you that. It's just a different way you can do it. So that's going through and importing all of this content. All right, and there we go. Down in the other section now, you can see it's got a 1x. Uh, just to identify it as being different from all the other content, this is the uh, the preview option that we get. Um, you can see it's been created as an isolated uh, preview. So it's giving you a bit of a warning. Um, and it's asking you to basically, well, it's giving you a warning. Completely separate from same material. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so it's just telling you how to do it, but generally you can now pick which of this content you want and where you want to put it. All right. Uh, if I come up to View Imports, I can see that Purge the Hills has been imported into this tool. All right, and what I'll do is I'm going to delete Purge the Hills because I don't need it anymore. All right, and you can see that's still there. So it looks like the, uh, the import history is going to retain whatever you did. And yeah, there you go, guys. So as you can see, that's, uh, that's how to copy, how to export in various ways, and how to import in various ways. Uh, it's certainly not very difficult to do, um, but the core functionality is going to be absolutely incredible for those of us who have um, well, been slogging away at one realm for a very long time. Um, I think I've actually almost broken mine. Uh, it appears the more content you, you put into it, the slower uh, some of the, the functionality gets. Um, changing tabs, for example, people would have noticed it's very slow for me to do that. Um, but, you know, on a smaller realm, it's very quick. So it's just one of those things that you want to sort of keep your uh, your size down where possible. Uh, and this is going to be a tool that's going to allow me to do that. So uh, very excited. Um, can't wait to play with it when it's released officially, guys. This is the beta version, so this may change. So just a, another warning there. Um, probably won't even be able to show you this until obviously it is um, released, um, but uh, hopefully this will prove useful to you guys when you are starting to play around with it. If you've got any questions, if you've got any comments, uh, if there's a video you'd like to see, please leave it all in the uh, comments below. And apart from that, guys, have a great night.